You're watching the SCAC Player of the Week interviews. It's week one of the SCAC basketball season, and today we're joined by the SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week, junior forward Caleb Lister of the Texas Lutheran University Bulldogs. And Caleb, congratulations, and thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Caleb, before we get into the specifics of the team's success and your success this past weekend, I just want to talk about opening weekend. You start the year, first weekend of the season. Personally for you, your first two career starts there at TLU. Sort of take me through your mindset as you prepared. Were there nerves? Sort of how excited were you to just finally get back out on the court to, and play against you know, another opponent that wasn't uh, your teammates as you have been through preseason? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there was a lot of nerves. I mean, we have, you know, new guys adjusting to new roles, and I've been trying to get back on the court since we lost to Whitman last year in the tournament. Um, trying to make another tournament run, get back to it. But the opening weekend, yes, obviously there's a lot of nerves, but I think, you know, a lot of the guys were ready and uh, were ready for this next game on Friday, too. A couple of big uh, performances uh, from the team perspective this past weekend. One and one in your opening two contests, a tough overtime loss to Harden Simmons. But this team shows some resolve and bounces back to pick up a 60 59 win over McMurray. What did you learn about your team over these first two games? And what does it say about this group to kind of bounce back from that tough, tough opening night loss? Um, I think we're resilient. I mean, the first, the first game, you know, we had a rough first half, not a very good offensive outing in the first half, but we turned it around against Harden Simmons, a very good team. Um, came up a little bit short, but, you know, we had a chance to redeem ourselves the next day. And, you know, it was more of the same to begin with. I mean, we only scored 12 points in the first half, but in the second half of that McMurray game, we really put a run together. I believe it was a 14-2 run to start the second half. So we have a lot of resilience and, you know, we're going to be ready for anything that anybody throws at us. Individually, Caleb, you were outstanding in your first two career starts there at TLU. You averaged 22.5 points, 10 rebounds per night, including a career-high 27 points in that win over McMurray. That included seven made three-point field goals in that contest. Just kind of take me through your individual success. How were you able to be so successful out there on the floor for the Bulldogs? Um, I think it was just my teammates trusting in me, as well as you know going back to last year, learning from the guys like Harris and Sean. Um, Jacob, who's still on the staff, you know, coaching me up and helping me every day in practice, as well as our head coach and assistant coaches. Um, you know, they're just putting us in position to, you know, go out and win games and run plays, and I think we've done a great job of that. Um, but other than that, I think, you know, just my guys trusting in me and me trusting in my teammates as well. And finally, as we look ahead to this week, Caleb, uh, you and the rest of your teammates back to action Friday night against Howard Payne. It's the home opener there in Seguin. How excited are you to, uh, to get home for that first home contest of the season? And what are your expectations heading into this game uh, against Howard Payne on Friday? Yeah, we're very excited. We haven't played a home game since the conference championship last year. I mean, we had a rocking crowd. I think it'll be more of the same. Um, but, you know, Howard Payne's a good team. We can't underestimate them in any facet. But... Um, they do a lot of cutting and a lot of ball movement, so it's, it's our job on defense to keep up with them and as well as, you know, do the same thing on the offensive end. Now it's time for the fastest minute in all Division Three sports. That's right, it's the SCAC 60, a chance for you, SCAC Nation, to get to know your SCAC players of the week a bit better. Caleb, are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock, and here we go. Caleb, are you a morning or night person? Definitely a night person, absolutely. Favorite number? 13. Favorite holiday? Um, does March Madness count? If not, then we're going to go with Christmas for sure. Do it today or wait till tomorrow? Do it today for sure. When it comes to cell phones, would you rather text or talk? Text. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of phone calls. If you could be on any game show, what game show would you be on? Um, Family Feud. Current must-watch TV or Netflix show? Ooh, that's a good one. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, probably. Country music or hip-hop? Hip-hop. Time travel. Are you headed to the future or the past? Ooh. Go with the future. Favorite social media platform? Twitter. What's the favorite uniform combination the Bulldogs wear out on the floor? Uh, I like the gold. Lake or the ocean? Well, let's go with the lake. I like the lake. Calm. And that will wrap up the fastest minute in all Division Three sports, the SCAC 60. Again, this week we were joined by the SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week, junior forward Caleb Lister of the Texas Lutheran University Bulldogs. Caleb, again, congratulations on your honor and best of luck as you continue to march forward throughout your junior season. Thank you so much. Go Bulldogs.